we're here in the fashion district of downtown Los Angeles. And behind me is a shop called Barabas. They are the makers of the two shirts that Joaquin El Chapo Guzman was seen wearing in the photographs that were published by Rolling Stone during his meeting with actor Sean Penn. So these are the two styles These right are here. the two famous shirts right Okay, now. and what are they called? This is a fantasy and this is a crazy paisley. And I imagine you got a lot more orders for these two styles Yes, and hundreds from all around the world. We have Germany customers, we have friends, everywhere in Latino, Mexico, Israel. I received a couple emails from Dubai. You know, questions have been raised about, you know, is this the glorification of sort of like the narco business? What is your response or your reaction to that? And no, as a business? We are, we are a fashion designer. We are, not, we are not affiliated with anybody. As our label said, good word, good thoughts, and good deeds. Mm. That's why we just announced that we're going to do 5% of our profit to the Deer Corporation mm -hmm. for the child drug abuse. That's drug abuse resistance for education, the, right? Yes, there. for the DARE. It was a nice idea, but DARE later said on their website that they would have rejected any such offer. It's beautiful. Well, as you can see, Barabas wasn't a brand that just became instantly popular with the Mexican banda Norteño singers. Many of these artists are super well known and are huge sellers here in the United States and Mexico. You have Espinosa Paz, here you have El Commander, um, a couple of other guys, Giovanni. Giovanni. Ah, from Bandar Recodo. Okay, gotcha.